XOXO Emo, and today we're with Raymond Moy of D3 Fitness out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and he's gonna give us all the way on bridal fitness. Talk to me, Ray. What Got drives me to do to be like wedding day ready? Got you. So uh, first thing that we really try to have uh, individuals who are looking to get prepared for their weddings is start out at least about 12 weeks in advance. So about three months time frame to really give your body a chance to actually transform to what you're looking for. 10 weeks is definitely the minimum. All right. All right. So about two and a half weeks, if you do it that route, really focusing, locking in on nutrition, something we'll talk about and then really lock it in on your workouts. So. Okay. One thing that we'll talk about, we'll give you guys an example workout today of what we have going on. Well, we'll start out with E. He's gonna end up doing a five minute warm up. That's something that's very critical prior to starting your workout so you decrease your chances of injury and things like that. We'll go through a glute activation with bands demonstrated by Coach M with her. So that way we can really focus on toning those glutes and knowing where to really specialize and be specific in regards to certain movements. Okay. After that, we're gonna focus on compound movement. So what that means is you wanna focus on using your whole body in a sense, so you can really focus on burning more calories and really targeting that fat loss in regards to toning the upper arms for okay. most brides. So you know when you show your shoulders the and then structure. also your glutes and things like that. Okay. And then also more importantly, that abdomen area All as well. Right. This right here is more for the toning and the muscle. Okay. The nutrition piece is going to be really for the weight and fat loss. Okay, cool. So right. it sounds like we'll get to that, mm -hmm. and I'm ready to, I guess, die on this workout. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. What should she be drinking? How often? How much? Mm -hmm. And then talk to me about like these fad diets and like what is not working, what they should not be doing. Gotcha. So actually, let's start off with what not to do. Okay. All right. One of the things when uh, individuals come, even brides in particular, whenever they're looking to look a certain way uh, prior to a big event, is mm -hmm. they try to eliminate eating completely. That is not something we want to do. Believe it or not, you actually want to probably increase your calories, but make sure that they're good quality foods, okay. which is gonna allow for you to feel satiated, AKA being full longer, okay. but then also feed your muscles so you get that nice toned look in your arms, legs, and all the other target areas that you're looking to get. Got you. Quality food, that's everything that came from the ground, mm -hmm. made a sound, yeah. and nothing else. So in a sense of, um, pretty much limiting your processed food. So you want to stick okay. with your veggies, you want to stick with your fruits, okay. your lean meats, your seafoods, okay. and things like that. Those are, those are the main things that you really want to stick towards whenever looking to build lean body mass and lose fat mass. Okay. Um, talk to me about like waist trainers. Mm -hmm. Waist trainers, all right, they, so. Oh, you, okay. No, you this, 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 is, this is a strong topic for me. So okay. watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm for it, but then I'm also against it. Okay, tell so, me why you're for it. So I would say I'm for it because in a sense, if it's gonna get you to come into the gym more frequently and give you confidence to come into the gym, okay. then go ahead and wear it. Sure. 
Now, I'm against it because it's not producing the results that everyone thinks that it is. So for instance, a trick that I use with individuals for, uh, for fat loss and weight loss is to consume more water, right? Okay. Water's born, it's bland. Uh, we utilize water enhancers. We put fruit in the water and things okay. like that. So now, those things didn't do that. You're drinking more water, essentially, and now you're drinking less beverages without the calories. You just tricked them into wearing the You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so in that particular sense, if it's gonna help the individual come into the gym, be confident, by all means do it. But at the end of the day, you gotta find a way to come in and do the work. Because if you have that waist trainer, you're just wearing it, you're not doing anything else, you're not fixing your nutrition, you're not working out, it's just another piece of equipment. <laughs> there you got it. Raymond Moy with D3 Fitness out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you so much for being with Thank us. Thank you so much for having us. Oh my goodness. Um, I love you guys for watching and thanks for tuning in to XO, XO Emo. See you next time.